A devastating update to a story we first told you about last year. Jordan Harris, a former Freedom High School senior, passed away today from brain cancer. His friends rallied around him selling gray bracelets to show their support for him. And tonight his friends show their love again with a special tribute. Bay News 9's Lori Davison live right now, joining us at 10.07 with more on what happened this evening there. Hi, Lori. Well, hi, Veronica. Students, graduates, and faculty here at Freedom High School have heavy hearts tonight after saying goodbye to 18-year-old Jordan Harris. As we do this tonight, let's focus on the positive side. See that he already set the bar. Let's follow suit and do same, same. or better. Thank you. A father's words honoring a son who's gone. With tears in their eyes, their voices choked with emotion, friends and family who knew and loved Jordan Harris gathered on the football field at Freedom High School for a vigil in his honor. He loved everyone equally. You know, he didn't have anyone that he didn't like or you know, found the good in everyone. So. Fellow students rallied around Jordan as he battled brain cancer three times. They described the former soccer player as an inspiration. Nina Pahokey dated Jordan for almost two years, and she says it's hard to believe he's gone. Even if we would fight or something, it literally would never last for more than a day. Like, oh, love that kid. Nina's mom, Lori, says these teens are learning a difficult lesson about how hard it is to say goodbye. He would not have wanted them to be upset over him. He would want them to, um, you know, to be happy because um, that was Jordan. You know, Jordan was just, he wanted to make sure everybody was happy. They lit candles in Jordan's honor, saying his spirit still shines. Then the group took a solemn lap around the track to honor the team who loved sports. Finally, they released balloons for Jordan. It was a rainbow of colors floating up into the sky a symbol of freedom. But he's in a better place. Um, he's not suffering anymore. And um, he's here and he's watching down on everybody. Friends say the most important lesson that Jordan taught them was to never give up. Reporting live in Hillsborough County, Lori Davis, St. Bay News 9. Very touching. Thank you, Lori. Now, friends say Jordan kept up his grades and graduated from high school in spite of chemo and hospital stays. He had been accepted at the University of Florida and was planning to start college this summer before the cancer returned. 